This is a submarine, and on it, I have to survive 100 days in the contaminated ocean. Every 10 days, the level of the infection will increase, dramatically increasing the spawn rate of dangerous creatures. We'll be able to upgrade our submarine and explore a huge infected map, which is filled with different locations, and one of them is the Mariana Trench. Day one, I appeared on some small island. First day, guys, there's some kind of crab, a skeleton, and some chest here. The first thing to do was look around, because the world here is full of interesting locations and especially underwater this is a contaminated ocean yeah to be honest without the note i have no clue i didn't waste much time on land and went straight into the water look at how huge that shark is as you understand guys the ocean is contaminated and i have to be really careful here so that i don't end up like this skeleton over here we appeared almost at the highest point of our world here it was possible to explore various dungeons relatively calmly even without a submarine so i uh, my oxygen ran out come on fast fast Faster, come on, up, up, up. Oh my god, guys. I completely forgot that I can't breathe underwater. Four hearts, friends. I guess the seabed will have to be explored in several dives. I haven't found the promised submarine yet, but I did find a pistol and an underwater mask. Now we can stay underwater 35% longer. At this rate, my gills will start growing soon. Oh, and by the way, I got a pistol. The only question is whether it shoots underwater. I don't know yet. Oh, wait, what is that? Okay, guys, I need to take a little air. My gills haven't fully grown yet. I think that the submarine is not in a very good condition. Yo, oh, oh, what is that? Wait, what else is there? Stop to HP! Even the piranha will seem friendly to you compared to the creatures that live underwater. Even though we were literally 10 blocks from the surface, the infection had taken its toll, and even here, aggressive mobs were spawning. Now it's time to check if the gun works underwater. And as you can see, yeah, it works. Near the submarine, there was a chest with a note, which I read with pleasure. This is the legendary submarine Bumblebee. It will help you explore the ocean and all the darkness that lies within it. That's great, but... He won't even move! Look, there's moss growing on it already! By right-clicking on the transport, a menu opened, where the required amount of resources was written down for this submarine to work. Okay, I understand. To fix it, we need some kind of currency, and I feel that today we'll have to look for it. Before the end of the first day, I had to make at least some kind of home for myself. Collect starting items and resources, so the first thing I decided to do was to go get wood, as usual. So guys, I was barely, barely able to collect one tree. In this survival, blocks break super slowly, but what do you want? It's the real hardcore survival. We're on the surface, guys, and we can finally make our first crafting table. Great, guys, congratulations. Let's make our first tools. The next question arose of how various ores such as coal or iron could be mined in the contaminated ocean. And I'll tell you that the answer lies in these stones. There was a huge number of them in the ocean. All the ores that we're used to seeing drop from them. Look, these iron samples can be melted down. I wonder what will come out of this. So look, we melt down a sample of iron and get- Yes! We get an iron ingot! That's it, so it turns out we can break all of these pebbles and get our needed ore from it. And look, I think I missed this chest. After spending a couple more minutes in the ocean looking for various resources, I began to prepare for the night and made a small shelter that I hope will help me get through the first night. Second day, and I think I was lucky because absolutely no one attacked me at night. Today I continued to explore the starting location of our world and discovered these interesting geysers. Yeah, look, there's some, I don't know, geysers here. They're releasing so many beautiful bubbles and maybe I can somehow interact with them. So, oh, wait, coal, coal and gunpowder. Thoughts, it seems that resources have not yet accumulated in this geyser. Definitely, geysers were a cool resource of renewable resources, such as gunpowder and coal. But besides geysers, on the second day, I found something interesting. So, what's this? Wait, are these the houses from Spongebob? Okay, let's get serious now. And by the way, here there is a piece of a ship, and let's see if there's any resources here. So, okay, just resources. Since this is an infected ocean, guys, there will be a crazy number of underwater, infected, and apocalyptic locations. For example, here is just a piece of a ship, and there's even a note here. The first day, I decided to start keeping a personal journal while I was sailing. I'll return home only in a year. The sooner the better. Day 10, everything is going as well as possible, but every day looks monotonous. I hope there will be something interesting. Day 20, we went out into the open ocean. It's so beautiful here. The captain locked himself in the control room and didn't answer. The ship rushes straight towards the rocks. The crew is in panic. I'm afraid this is my last entry. Oh my god, guys. And as you understand, this is a really contaminated ocean. There's no other name for it. Just half HP. Just half HP, guys. I guess this will be a really difficult survival at first glance. Although maybe we'll someday find some kind of scuba gear. Day 3. Until now, 
Now our main goal was to repair the submarine. But to do that, I had to collect 15 mesh fibers. Of course, you're wondering, where do you even find it? If you watched my video where I survived 10 different apocalypses in a bunker, then you'll know that there was a recycler. By putting garbage in it, you could get scrap. In this survival, everything works exactly the same. Only the recycler is now overgrown with corals and moss. And slightly different resources are needed for recycling. It's day three, and I noticed something strange, guys. Look, there's something glowing there, and it's really, really deep from where we are now. And what's more, guys, there seems to be a part of some ruins. Of course, I still can't see what's there, but we need to somehow swim there. But as you understand, for now, this was impossible for us. Because the submarine was still broken, and we simply didn't have enough oxygen. Instead of building a house in the coming days, I decided to completely explore the starting location. So that there wouldn't be a single untouched chest left. So, here we have two geysers, and even a box with debris. So, let's collect, collect this whole thing. We don't have much oxygen, so let's look quickly. So, some kind of pants, great diver's pants, and let's go up as soon as possible. Oh my god, we've gone so deep already. Okay, I made it guys, I made it. Although in the following days I was attacked by monsters many times, I was still able to collect the required amount of resources to repair the submarine. Friends, it's been a really long time, and as you understand, I simply didn't find a recycler, so I have a lot of garbage lying around at home. But the 15 items that we need in order to repair the submarine, I just simply found in chests. So, okay guys, we seem to be moving. That's amazing! Just take a look! Oh my god, guys, look at that! Now I could control our submarine, but moreover, I could improve it. Oh, yeah, look! This is the upgrade menu. So it turns out that for the currency we find here and process in the recycler, we can also upgrade our submarine. First of all, I decided to swim to those same ruins that I saw at the beginning of survival from my island. So guys, let's stop at the entrance. Actually, perfect, just take a look. Okay, as you understand, we don't have much time to explore because our oxygen is being used. But now guys, I just found a book, calmly refueled with oxygen in our submarine. And by the way, this skeleton was less lucky than me. And I hope that I won't end up like this. Snorkel, the where I can breathe underwater. Wait, stop. Yeah, that's the logic of Minecraft, I understand. No, you don't need to put an oxygen tank or a diving mask. Just a snorkel with a mask for underwater and breathing and that's it. Friends, I guess now we can safely swim underwater as much as we want. Okay, we probably won't take this off, let's wear it all, because it at least gives us some armor. Now I could loot all the boxes very calmly and even read a note at a calm pace. But the most important thing was that there was a recycler here. Just look at how we look now. So we can even drop off our items to recycle them. Yeah, great. Yeah, look, wait, wait, guys, w who is that? I don't even know who it is. Oh my god, ow, ow. Okay, at least he doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, at least he doesn't do a lot of damage. So guys, he left me on 2 HP. I thought he was weak, but apparently not. Guys, here, of course, first we looted. This is already the basis for this survival. And let's start with this building that suffered more. Empty barrels, so some barrels. I don't know, guys, this might be useful to us. I think it's better for us to collect it. While I'm digging like this, my whole life will pass through. Okay, this building looks way more interesting. So, sword? A, a new gun! Okay, not bad! Pretty good, let's go! Having reached the location, I decided to return home, because it was already nighttime on the surface. Day 7. There are 3 days left before the infection rate increases. And of course, this is very little time, considering that we don't even have a base yet. Day 7, guys! It's insane, but we don't even have a base yet! We have two options where to build it, either in the air or underwater. You know, we've never had an underwater base in any of our survivals. I think it's time to fix this. Let's go! I chose a place for the base quite quickly. It wasn't far from our start, but at the same time, it was also close to the new biomes of the infected ocean. Okay, this place is not bad. I think it's best to make the base in the mountain, and we'll make the platform for a submarine right here. It took me two whole days to collect the resources, and build the frame. And on day 10, something really strange happened. Uh, guys, I think this is it. The level of the infection in our ocean has increased. The color of the water has changed and new monsters have appeared. But most importantly, all those same underwater volcanoes from which we had previously collected coal and gunpowder have disappeared from the world as well. To be honest, it's even scary to go into the water. I wonder what kind of creature is making those sounds. Okay, let's put the panic aside. Let me show you my house. In general, so far, everything here is 
pretty modest. We have a bedroom here, a small storage area for now, and right here where the warehouse is, we have a couple of furnaces. As for a submarine, I managed to make a small frame underwater, like a garage for it. It's clear that the submarine will stay in the water, it'd be pretty strange if it stayed on land. But maybe we'll make some kind of lock system in the future, I won't think ahead for now. So far, this is what it looks like. Before exploring the deep biomes of our contaminated ocean, I wanted to stock up on resources a little bit, since we'll never know in advance what items from this world may disappear. I spent four whole days collecting all the logs that lay broken in the sand, various plants and ores. And by the way, there were even small mines here, or rather underwater caves, in which just like in regular Minecraft, there were the most common ores. So guys, before we go to our new ocean biomes, I want to show you the submarine itself. There has been no review yet. So first of all, we have a cabin like this, and this is where we control the submarine. And here guys, we have a living room. If we suddenly find ourselves somewhere very deep underwater, then we'll probably be able to lie down on the floor here. But overall, I hope that there's gonna be different improvements here that will help us arrange it all. So let's not waste any more time, let's go! And on day 15, we began to dive into the depths of the ocean. Guys, be sure to tell me in the comments if you have a fear of deep water. I most likely don't, although we're all afraid of something mysterious. Look at these debris here. Okay, I think first of all, let's park and try to loot this ship. Guys, just imagine how deep we are. There might be so many monsters here. These guys were clearly out of luck. Oh, okay, note. Let's take the note. Distant lands, they exist. I thought there was no land in this world, but it turns out that there is. And it's better not to get close to it. What? Why? If there's land, it's better not to approach it? I would love to check it out, but again, no one knows what could possibly be there. So, wait a minute, what is that? Hey, stop! What kind of monsters are these? Okay, okay, guys, it's better to reload. Fast, come on. The bad news is that I only have eight rounds left. Some iron slime ball, okay, good. I think this is some kind of part of a ship or just a sunken ship. Let's try to swim inside. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh my god, that's it. I'm out of ammo. Okay, now we have some problems. There's four of them and they move quite quickly. Okay, well, it's better than huge megalodons or, I don't know, giant squids. Phew, he even dropped a helmet. Wait, did you hear that? Oh my god, okay, I don't know where that sound came from, but it was a little scary. Now let's definitely swim inside. There were a couple more monsters inside. Having dealt with them, I found notes in the boxes that revealed this world to me even more. The super sound apparatus was able to detect sounds of foliage 4,000 blocks away, which means that there's land. Coordinates 4,500 by 4,500. Oh my god, so it turns out we can explore some kind of land. Okay, I think we'll definitely sail there, but first we'll explore this ship. Um... Dead piranha and the piranha launcher. Uh, well, maybe this could be useful to me. Oh, come on, come here, just like that. What, what are you gonna do against my super piranha device? That's it, guys. This is what's gonna happen to every piranha that tries to bite me. Having looted the remaining boxes, I decided to go home, pack my things, and wait for the next day. Day 16. Distant lands interested me very much, but no less interesting was exploring the ocean, and especially its lowest biomes. The game is built in such a way that we can't just take it and swim there, or some monster will eat us, or the submarine will not withstand the pressure, or we'll just simply melt from the temperature. And as you understand, all of this requires upgrades, which I'm going to get in the next coming days. Well, look, with the decorations, I think we'll wait a little bit. Although wait, sofa, you can sleep right on board the submarine and skip the night. Yeah, of course it's useful, but here's the locator, and what does it do? It allows you to find treasure containing mesh fiber. Oh! I decided that first of all, we would buy the locator. The first thing I did was go to the recycler. From all the trash I collected on day 15, I got as many as four mesh fibers. Not a lot, friends, but... What can you do? I started exploring the ocean. Thanks to the submarine, this could be done quite quickly. There were both small locations like this and entire underground dungeons. Okay, guys, it's a little dark here. Zeman is not allowed entry. What? I don't understand joke, well, what's the joke? Well guys, this is just disrespectful. In such places you could really find tons of good loot, but there were also plenty of monsters here. Stop, uh, something weird is flying at me. I mean, floating, floating, it's more floating more precisely. Look at how huge that fish is. And look, here in this biome, there's even some containers that we saw near a spawn. I'll take the loot there too. And I'll be honest, I've been avoiding this weird dungeon for a long time, but now I'm gonna go in there. Yeah, there's a lot of skeletons skeletons in these locations. I wonder how I'm still alive. String and fish. I mean, they could have put something better, of course. Oh, oh, mesh fiber, okay. New gun, we'll take it. And a note. If Zeman is here, tell him that he's a Zemanoid. What do you mean? 
By day 19, I was able to buy a locator. These days were very interesting in terms of studying the ocean, but at the same time dangerous in terms of hardcore. That's it guys, we have an improved locator. Just great. I just didn't have time to test it, because day 20 has arrived. Infection levels in the ocean have risen again, and this time Krakens began to spawn on this world. Update, now Krakens will spawn in the world, but no more than one on the entire map. That's just one Kraken, okay? One Kraken might spawn. The appearance of the Kraken on day 20 stressed me out a little bit. Well, I was just a little bit shocked. It's day 20 guys, I'm going out into the ocean and as you can see no one has eaten me yet. But one thing was clear, I had to move way faster. Because if the Kraken appeared on day 20, then what could appear by day 30? Today I decided to start studying the surface of the water. Because in one of the notes, I read that there's land here. I don't know why I didn't start doing this earlier, but I started encountering some really interesting dungeons. Um, I might be dreaming, but I think that's a real lighthouse. The first thing I came across was a lighthouse, or rather, an abandoned lighthouse. I don't see any monsters, so I think we can just park here. And Oh my god, by the way, in the submarine, we haven't actually sailed on water like a ship yet. Alright, I hope there aren't any ghosts here. I'm just gonna loot the boxes here and leave super quietly. In the lighthouse, I was able to find these resources, which was pretty good for a location I didn't even know existed. Just tropical islands. And by the way, I collected as much wood as possible from them, because it takes a really long time to mine wood underwater. Only by day 26, I finished exploring the surface, and then I began to explore this underwater world again. I'm home, guys. My favorite bed. Wait, no time for sleep, that's it. I wanna say that we've never seen a Kraken, though. Although, in fact, it's already running around our ocean. Running around... How could I even say that? Although actually he's been living in our ocean for 7 days now. On day 27, I sorted all the resources that I managed to find on the surface. And on day 28, I finally went to explore the contaminated ocean. Well guys, you and I have already bought the locator and we've never actually used it. So let's turn it on. There's no menus, only sound. As I understand it, the sound determines how close we are to a treasure. Yeah, oh, it's somewhere close! Wait here, look! Oh my god, it's real! Ten mesh fiber? What? That's amazing, guys! We'll take it! Despite the presence of a locator, such treasures were really difficult to find. Especially when there's a kraken roaming around. These sounds, yeah, I'm pretty used to them, but I don't like it somehow. Wait, that sound was really close. Wait, what's that? Okay, guys, let's just turn around. We'll turn around and drive off here as quickly as possible. This was our first meeting with a kraken in this survival but you can't even imagine how many more different and dangerous creatures I'll meet in these 100 days. Day 30. Ocean contamination levels have increased again. This time, a new type of dungeon appeared in random places in the ocean. Radioactive waste. Radioactive waste has appeared in your world. Look for them to loot cool items. Kraken activity has increased, and one new monster, the killer fish, has been added. So, a fish that's a killer. At this rate, all my hair will turn gray soon, man. I would say that the killer fish was much more dangerous than the kraken, because it could accelerate and act more directed. I want to spend most of the next 10 days searching for mesh fiber and exploring at least one new underwater biome. Guys, we're sailing in search of our fiber. During these 10 days, I want to get at least 150 of them. Of course, in addition to monsters and various underwater zombies in this infected ocean, there were various fish, and some of them spawned only in the deepest biomes. Shark sure, guys, of course, I've already counted like 7 different species of them. During these 10 days, I was completely immersed in the game, sailed over different arches, and even visited a variety of caves. But on day 38, something terrible happened. Guys, this seems this is my encounter with the Kraken, and there's no way to escape from here. That's it guys, there's no turning back, he aggroed on me. Guys, he got angry. Oh my god, we need to run, run. Oh, wait, I mean, there's nowhere to run. Okay, here you go, Kraken. Oh my god, how much HP does he have? I decided to get out of my submarine. Wait, are those guns? Wait, wait a minute. Come on, wait, it's actually working. Come on, get it, Kraken. My key will just fall off my keyboard right now. Oh my god, guys, I don't believe this. What? After defeating the Kraken, I was really happy, even though he didn't drop anything. And as you understand, the most important thing is that survival continues. On day 39, I decided to visit the biome that had been visible since the first day, but I didn't dare to go there until today, since it looked really dark. Okay guys, our submarine has survived the Kraken, so I think that in principle we could try to visit it. There were a lot of aggressive fish in this location that I've never seen before. They even threw some kind of ultrasonic waves at 
at me. Otherwise, there were also abandoned containers, although I think the loot was a little better. But on the other side, it was nothing special here. Various crystals and some strange bamboo also grew throughout the biome. In general, guys, I decided that I collect all these strange items, since I didn't see any other dungeons for loot here. So I think we'll just pick up these glowing blocks and maybe they'll be useful to us in the future. Day 40. The ocean contamination rate has reached 4 out of 10. And no, the color of the ocean hasn't changed yet, but the sky began to look really sad. As for me, the water is still the same color, but look at the sky, it changed color a little bit, definitely. I also swam to the nearest islands. I saw that the grass has disappeared from them and even some strange dirt has appeared that hasn't even been there before. And look, even the dirt is becoming infected. What if we don't have time to explore the distant land 5,000 blocks away? I would of course love to see it in color. I didn't get as many resources for the upgrade as I wanted, however, I could still buy one of them. Now your submarine is more resistant to different temperatures. Well guys, we only have enough for this, I think we better buy it. Maybe it'll be useful for us in some way, but let's get ready for an expedition. I still want to get to that massive land 5,000 blocks from here. I understood that I'll be on the road for quite a long time, and that most likely likely when I returned the level of the infection would be 5 or even 6. But nevertheless, the interest in this location was greater than the fear of any dangers. And I decided to hit the road. The journey took me 5 days. The most that happened these days was some distant cries of a kraken. But I hope I'm just lucky. Day 48. I reached that very land and the most important advantage was that the infection hadn't yet reached here. All the leaves and trees were in place. Just look, it's, it's actually land. Okay, let's park somewhere here and let's see what we have in Hey, what? Give me back my cooked piranha! There's something that I don't understand at all right now. And what? You wanna eat too? Who are you anyway? And what do you even need? And this is how, guys, this very land meets us. In front of us, there's already some kind of dungeon with some monsters but I'm glad that at least it's not infected. I think the infection hasn't reached here yet. And yeah, look, wait, there's a radioactive sign here. Maybe this has something to do with our contaminated ocean. Wait, guys, guys, wait, okay, stop. Okay, there's already some mutants here and that's definitely a bad sign. Why am I still wearing the snorkel? Yeah, I feel like they're just waiting for me. Okay, let's loot the box. So, a new gun, a new gun is always good. So guys, guys, there's actually a lot of them here. So I think that we've completely cleared this location. Now we can check it out. Okay, mesh fiber, gold hook, increases experience thrown by creatures, especially ones you haven't killed recently. Okay. Wait, where's my hand? Wait, give me back my hand. Alright, it just looks pretty funny. So, mesh fiber, a shovel, and a turtle egg. Okay, we'll spawn the turtle egg at our base. We'll definitely not here. In the location, I found a lot of boxes, and in one of them, there was even a plot note. Contaminated ocean. The consequences are irreversible. No one thought that such a small plant could lead to such an apocalypse, except the director. Certainly, he knew everything, but it seems that's exactly what he wanted. Oh my god, so we're talking about some kind of factory and about some director who knew everything about this contaminated ocean. I can only assume that this plant is located somewhere here, but for now, let's completely loot these boxes. More loot, we'll take it. And there's a lot of ammo here, I really like that. So the site can be painted? How do I do that? Uh I guess it can, then we'll definitely try to do that. I was about to go deeper into the island when I found a really interesting item in this box. I've captured a mysterious creature, glowing octopus in a bucket. Whoa, and that's what radiation does to these mobs. I guess let's take it back. After the location on the shore, I decided to go along the path deep into the forest, trying to find something interesting, and first of all, a continuation of the plot. Because as we understood from the last note, there really was a plot here. I'm continuing to travel around this island, and I don't don't know how far I walked, but I finally noticed something interesting. Here, as usual, there's all sorts of monsters and a lot of radioactive barrels with this contaminated water. So wait, mosquito, mosquito, oh my god, there's a mosquito. I just got attacked by a mosquito. Well, whoa, 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 okay, calm down. I just really hope that the seagull doesn't steal any food, although I think he's already stolen everything he can. Okay, 4 HP, guys, 4 HP, 2 more left. So guys, I think we've cleared the entire location. Now I can safely see what's here. So these boxes where it says Zeman team, it usually has the coolest loot. Okay, a new sword. Okay, that's that's a lot better than mine. Mesh fiber, ammo, and a note. This contaminated water must not get from the plant into the ocean in any way. Otherwise, there'll be worldwide water contamination. This cannot be allowed. But as we understand, judging by the circumstances in which we find ourselves, the water still got into the ocean and the whole ocean... 
these seagulls, man. So yeah, the water entered the ocean and this is where we're surviving right now. At some point, the sun came out again and I decided to go further along the road, trying to find the mystery of this contaminated ocean. I even had to spend the night on the island. And the next morning, I reached the final location of this place. It was an abandoned factory. Guys, this whole story led me to this weird dungeon and here as usual there's a lot of monsters so hello hello okay new site ammo oh oh wait look it's an sks so okay we can even put a site here that's really cool and we have a note as well soon the entire ocean will be inhabited by huge creatures 20 times larger than the largest megalodon the ocean will become alive i've been waiting for this moment for 20 years today the krakens will come out so oh my god okay some crazy director of this plant has simply gone crazy well yeah he is crazy but now i need to figure out what even happened uh, th th these seagulls are just stealing my bread i can't oh wait another note this happened the plant director has gone crazy this can only be stopped in the mariana trench it is located within a radius of a thousand blocks from the appearance of the test subject end of connection and i guess the one being tested is apparently me so it turns out near a spawn within a radius of a thousand blocks there is a mariana trench and we have to find it in the survival and wait one more note on behalf of the workers of this plant i officially declare that the toilet here is really comfortable igor uh that's a pretty useless note why do i even need to know this information half of the survival is over it's day 50 and as you understand the level of the infection increased which meant the appearance of three new types of monsters and most importantly a change in the properties of water until today every time i went underwater i was given the effect of night vision this was a certain property that helped me see well underwater but the game becomes more difficult every 10 days. And from today, this effect is no longer here. The water became darker and it became much more difficult to see the monster in it. On day 55, I found myself back home. Of course, the journey takes a lot of time across such an ocean. Guys, I'm at home and I want to note that look at how cloudy it is around. I literally can't see anything and now we'll have to survive in this ocean i almost had enough to buy a whole upgrade and given the appearance of new monsters i decided it was time to save up for it day 56 and as you remember guys we found a turtle egg i think it's time to spawn it here look at the size of it it's so cute just look at it the moon guys is simply wonderful despite the fact that there's so many monsters here today i'm gonna collect these fibers in order to fully upgrade the hole after a trip to distant lands i collected quite a lot of garbage which i gladly sent to a recycler and received quite a lot of fibers that's it guys we have enough for the hole upgraded let's go the next upgrades will definitely be shelves and a sofa my next task was to finally modernize my base and do it very specifically first of all i decided to transform the existing rooms use more technologically advanced blocks and the second stage was to build a second floor the frame is ready guys let's work survival of course is really cool probably one of the coolest in recent times i don't really understand the complexity yet but we had a tough moment with the kraken but that danger awaits us at every step and i don't feel that way yet perhaps things will change in the future especially with the appearance of new monsters in a couple of days our house was ready it looked really technologically advanced and fit really well into this ocean this is what the first floor looks like i expanded it a little bit our second floor is completely made out of glass and it also looks really cool in my opinion and our third floor is also glass and i can directly see what's happening in the valley day 60 and there was only only one change in the ocean. The activity of sea monsters increased. This message in the chat, guys, it's a little scary. Well, not even a little bit, a lot. Today I'm gonna try to get to the new biome. Naturally, I realized that there's a lot more monsters and they can attack. But after comparing all the pros and cons, I still thought it was a good idea. I've already swam half the way. I will be calm except for the change on day 60. Because the Kraken appeared after that. And Wait, yeah, I hear sounds. Okay, these are just sounds. If the headphones don't deceive me, it's somewhere far away. The sound of an unknown monster was getting closer and closer, and I still continued to swim towards my biome. And looking back, I can say that this was a really bad idea. Oh my god, what? This monster is huge! Oh my god, well, that's it, guys, let's go. The collision with this monster is inevitable. We'll have to fight. Usually, in all my survivals, you can close yourself off the monsters or build up blocks. But here, we were in their zone, and there was nowhere to run. Plus, the submarine simply cannot swim really fast. Okay, I'm glad that we upgraded the body, but still, it might not help with this monster. Come on, come on, come on, come on! It felt like the battle lasted about a minute and a half. The monster either swam around or intensely attacked me. Wait, what? 
he's swimming away? Oh my god, he, he's just swimming away. My heart is pounding, guys. It's, it's just impossible now. By some miracle, we survived. Now it was clear that this was definitely not an easy 100 days, but rather my carelessness, which almost led me to the end of this hardcore survival. Miraculously, we reached the new biome, and let's see what's here. I can't even see anything now. And look, here as it turns out, there's some wrecks of some old ships. Okay, most likely there should be boxes here. There were boxes here with really good loot. Now I knew that at least this journey was not in vain. The biome was a scorched wasteland, but only underwater. Yeah, there's clearly no life here. Look, all the corals are gray. And with this, I think we should go home. Day 62. I set myself the task of finally upgrading my submarine by design, putting a sofa and shelves there. But of course, they have uses besides design. As I said, you can skip the night and sleep on the sofa, and the shelves add additional space to ride in the submarine. But as you understand, before that, I had to get a bunch of mesh fiber. It's a new day, guys, and after two attacks by monsters, I'm still in shock that we're alive. However, survival continues, and we still have many unexplored locations in this world. In the next 10 days, the game will become important possibly difficult, and in fact, I had my last days left to loot the ocean properly. There were a lot of locations in these 100 days, and as you know, they're all completely different. On the surface, underwater, and even in caves. Oh my god, I didn't know there were even dungeons in the caves! Wait, what's this? Look, it's some kind of treasure chest! Well guys, I've collected enough resources to buy two upgrades, a sofa and the shelves. And unlike the other upgrades, these upgrades were given to me. Now we'll just put them here like this, one, and too, and now I can pretty much live here. Leave a like under this video if you would like your own submarine. In almost 70 days, I still didn't have a farm, so I decided to make one. Okay guys, it's day 68 and I'm gonna make the farm. I think that will make a domed room altogether, and for this we'll need a lot of glass. Having dug up the sand and melted everything in the furnace, I began building a small sphere, which would later become my farm. I really hope I have enough time to make it before day 70, because I'm even scared to imagine what will happen in the ocean. Like the video for the underwater farm! Day 70. The color of the ocean turned a new color and it was no longer green. The number of monsters and their activity increased, and some plants began to turn gray and completely fade away. Friends, look, the ocean is becoming completely apocalyptic. There's fewer and fewer small fish here. Now in this ocean, I feel like only huge monsters live. Today I decided to venture further into the ocean to explore some of the toughest fish to be found here. Well, now we can normally take our resources on the submarine on an expedition. We have a sofa and if anything, we can live right on it. I didn't really know exactly where to go, but my task was to go as deep as possible. I'm already very deep. There's a lot of sounds here, and I think these are coming from huge creatures. And basically, our hull is strong, plus our submarine is well pumped in terms of thermal insulation. So I hope everything will be okay. Having descended even lower, I was really surprised. I couldn't imagine that I would find a new type of dungeon, which at a glance was generally similar to some kind of buildings of another civilization. What kind of pyramid is this, guys? It, it's glowing all over the place. I couldn't even imagine this existed. I think we'll park here. There's no one around yet, so we'll try to explore it. If only understood where I am. Actually, it's so cool that I came across such a futuristic building at such low depths. And the first thing I saw is actually this entrance, so we have no choice but to go in. Okay, another door? I don't even know what to expect. So much happened during the survival that it's difficult to even imagine. Oh, wait! Wait, what's this? Why is my screen shaking? There's some crazy doctor here! B -b reload, reload, reload! B What's going on? How many different mobs are there actually in this survival? I managed to kill this boss, but it was really scary. What kind of dungeon is this anyway? Well, okay, we're here to explore it, so let's go. In the first room, I was pretty lucky with the loot. 31 mesh fiber, a book and quill, and an eternal steak that I could just eat forever. The director of the plant visited us last week, took water samples, and went to the next station. We don't know what this could mean, but something bad is clearly going on. There's a chance we could have completely missed this location, but I'm super glad that we found it and learned the details about the plot. And is there anything else here at all? When I returned the next day, I saw that the main entrance was below. I don't know how I missed it, but well, it happened. So I found the main entrance. Let's go in carefully. Um, I don't want to go in here anymore. Wait, 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 what are these huge monsters? Oh my god, how many of them are there? Where did they even come from? What are they? Okay, guys, carefully. They're squeezing me. Do it, me left, guys. I have 2 HP, 2 HP. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's it. These mobs also drop mesh fiber. We bought all the upgrades, but we'll save it up for repairs. Now, let's take a look around and see what we have here. So, the station, of course, is huge, ammo, and a new gun. Climbing upstairs, I found another note. This is True Girls Research Center. We study the bottom of the ocean and look for new fish. The company's next task is to fully explore the Marianas Trench, although no one knows where it is. Wh what How? You're a research center, how don't you know where it is? Yeah, sure. I feel like we'll have to look for it ourselves. Now we'll just completely loot everything and return home. And just wow, how did we come across such a cool location? On day 73, I returned home and sorted out all my things. It's day 74 guys, and today I'm gonna go to the cave to mine some obsidian to finally make an enchanting table. In the next two days I mined obsidian and also made an enchanting table. Whoa, I can even enchant my flippers. From day 76 to 79, I improved the parking space for my submarine. That's it guys, now our submarine is in a really beautiful place and it's pretty well lit. I'm not even ashamed to look at it. Well guys, tomorrow the infection rate will increase and I really hope that the ocean will not just disappear. It's day 80, a very terrible thing happened today. All the vegetation in our ocean has completely disappeared. Just look! This is our starting location. Oh my god. I hope we can hold out here until day 100. Day 81. Today, a huge and aggressive school of sharks gathered near my house. And I just decided not to leave all day, just in case. These days, the sounds of monsters from the depths of the ocean have intensified. They were completely different and really scary. I even got the impression that it would no longer be possible to survive here. Because actually, there was no resources left for extraction in this ocean. Day 82. Continuing to to study the ocean floor, I found a really interesting dungeon. It was a construction crane. Guys, I don't know how I ended up here, but there's nothing else around. It's the only one here. So we have no choice but to check it out. The main thing is that no huge monster comes here, otherwise I'll just be done. Oh, note! You might wonder where the faucet came from in this ocean. To be honest, we don't know either. End of connection. W what Okay? If you're wondering how my team does these survivals, as you can see, they don't seem to know themselves. On day 83, I continued to explore the remaining dungeon. I needed to do this to restore the submarine to full HP, because it was quite worn out by now. I collected everything I could, now let's process it. Great, now we can go fix the submarine. Now let me tell you why I needed to repair it in the first place. As you remember, on the island I found interesting notes regarding the Mariana Trench and some director of the plant who caused all this infection. In general, in the coming days, I want to go in search of this Mariana a trench. Well, and without a repaired submarine, going there will be really, really dangerous. And that's all, I told you guys, let's keep going. On day 84, I was fully prepared, collected the most necessary things in my submarine, and set off in the search of Mariana's trench. To accurately find it, over and over again, I went in different directions from our spawn, constantly coming back and forth and trying again. Honestly, there's a lot of monsters around, and the sounds are certainly scary. And th there, look, there's some kind of huge jellyfish. It's probably not a good idea to approach. It, it might aggro on me. In the coming days, I try to do everything so as not to aggravate any monsters towards me. On day 84 and 85, there was no result. On day 86, I found the only surviving coral, which was still colored, and nothing else. But finally, on day 87, I noticed something very interesting. So, look, this is pretty weird. Is this a cave, or is that it? Wait, guys, look! It's actually it! We found it! We have found the Mariana's Trench, and oddly enough, there was still vegetation in it. Perhaps the site of the infection was completely bypassed. However, when I swam closer, I heard really strange sounds coming from the bottom. Yeah guys, just look at it, look at how big it is. I can't even imagine how long I can go down there. Before going down, I decided to make a small base, so if anything happens, I can come back and put all the resources that I find at the bottom. On day 88, while I was finishing up my warehouse, I noticed some strange creature swimming by. It's good. That it didn't attack me. On day 89, I explored the area around the Mariana's Trench and found nothing. No dungeons, no vegetation. Day 90. In fact, today is the last level of the infection rising in the ocean. Only 10 days can separate us from completing this survival, but these 10 days can become a complete test for us and our submarine. Okay guys, if you ask me what changed on day 90, I haven't yet descended into the Mariana's Trench. I'm gonna do this literally any minute, but oh my 
god. It was crazy, but the entire area around the Mariana Trench was completely covered with magma veins. I don't even want to step there, guys. I'm more surprised that there's no such thing around the Mariana's Trench, and there's vegetation there. It's... it's some kind of magic. You could see that there was no turning back for me, so I decided to go inside the Mariana Trench. The dive into the Mariana's Trench has begun, guys. There's so many fish here. W wait, I think they're attacking me. They're attacking my submarine. There's just so many monsters here. It would seem like the Mariana's Trench. Wait, this dude wants to attack me. Oh, guys, I think that's it, more or less. Various fish are continuing to swim around, but I let's hope they don't attack me. I understood that there was no way I could pass this location, and that I would have to deal with all the monsters that were here. Look, there's some interesting location here, and a few more monsters, even a lot I would say. Okay, monsters, whoa. so guys, th these guys are super tough. I don't know what I would do without this shotgun. Guys, I think that we managed to fight off the monsters, and let's see what we have here. Oh, so wait a minute, that's a new gun. The rifle will do, great. Judging by the different guns here, I feel like some tough boss is waiting for me ahead. There's even a chest plate. Look at how cool it is. Let's take it. Crystal Heart increases the maximum number of HP. Wait, that's really good, guys. And there's also a note here. The infection was successful. Now I'll become that same monster. And only by defeating me can the infection be stopped. So, oh my god, it turns out that the director of this clan has become a monster. And only by destroying him can we try to free the ocean from this infection. Well, then I guess we'll sail there. We have no other options. I don't know how long the journey will take us, but diving into the Mariana's Trench is not a quick thing. In these frames, the descent of the Mariana's Trench was still interesting, but then it was pitch darkness, and I swam for a really long time, first going up and then going down. The entire journey to the very bottom took me six whole days. While I was swimming, I thought about how incredible this survival was, how much we explored, and what an unusual gaming experience we got. But now the most important thing was to get to the very bottom. And on day 96, I finally reached it. So guys, I'm approaching this monster and the submarine is reminding me of this. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's kill it. Some mobs are coming around as well. Okay, we need to leave, leave, leave. Come on. He's pulling me in. Guys, I think this battle will not be easy. Perhaps this monster would have had some chances to win, but my submarine was pumped to the maximum during this survival. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, guys, a little more, just a little bit more. Yes, yes, guys, we destroyed the monster. Oh my god, guys. Okay, this battle was actually easier than I thought. We actually managed to survive 100 days in the contaminated ocean, friends. This is just incredible. The journey back took the same amount of time, and on day 101, I finally emerged from the water. It was an incredibly pure color. That's all guys, good luck to everyone, Zeman was with you, bye bye.